to teach, to learn, and to think, we should have some basic knowledge of concepts and what they are. Concepts, if you think about it, you know, if we look at how we use them, what they are, their nature, notice they're general. They're not some specific thing. Um, we get the concept of tree or house or quadratic equation or gravitational force. We're not talking about, it's not something that's specific. It's a collection, so to speak, of specific things. It's all things of a kind put together so we can, you know, and the purpose is so we can more efficiently think about them. Um, it's things of the same nature, the same cause-effect relationships. You know, we have a concept of dog, a concept of cat, concept of person or tree, quadratic equation. Now this is an important issue. It's not just some academic thing or la la, because when we get ideas wrong, then we can go off the deep end. We can get lost, make mistakes, get hurt, get frustrated, um, fail for a while. Um, it's clear looking at reality, how looking and looking at history, how people can go wrong when their ideas are wrong. Just look at when you really go um, to an extreme case, look at, you know, the unfortunate situation of some people who are crazy. Um, detached from the world, acting on ideas that have nothing to do with the real world. Um, very sad. So we want to make sure we know what a concept is so we can form them correctly. Um, make sure we're, we're dealing with truth, not uh, too much error or falsity. Some basic things we need to know are that concepts are unifications in our minds of all these different specific individual real things. As we say, for example, a chair. You have all these different chairs. You see them. You see that they're all the same. They have the same function. So we can put them together into the concept chair. Or we see trees, these different living things, different than grass, different than dogs and cats and people. And we see that, you know, we unify all these different things into the one concept tree or similar with cats and dogs. And it's good to think about things like that to get a good idea of what all concepts should be like. Because with dog and tree, we know about them in their full variety. To really get the concept of dog, we must see the full variety of dogs to have a rich concept to be able to use it better in reality and know what we're talking about. So when we study a dog, we're clear that it's not just specifically German Shepherds, but German Shepherds, Labrador retrieval, Retrievers, Poodles, and all the other numerous plethora of dogs. Um, same thing with trees. We look at oak trees, pine trees, cherry trees, apple trees, and a whole lot more. There's this wide variety we, and we need to grasp at least some of that to really get the concept of tree. If all we know is oak trees, then we don't fully have the concept of tree. We're going to be misled in a lot of different ways about what the true nature of a tree is. You know, height, color, soil pH, habitat, a lot of things like that. And this is very important when studying other concepts, um, quadratic equation, linear equation, gravitational force, um, civil society, freedom, rights. We need to look at many examples of each of these to really understand it. And we need to have examples in the first place. Unfortunately, a lot of times when um, people are talking or teaching, examples are just out. But what we need to do is get in the habit of always having examples of specific concept when we're doing it. Now I know when we're teaching and learning and going through life, we can't do everything and be overwhelming. But we got to pick out what's important in human life in general, abstractly. Make sure we really understand those things, have lots of examples in a wide variety.
um, things that are important in our career or our life. Some people are more into dogs, some people are more into cats, some people are more into parrots. So then in that respect, some things that we really want to have a lot of examples of is going to vary. Some people are petroleum engineers, some people are mechanical engineers, some people are nutritionists, some people are dancers. So different concretes, different examples will be relevant for their different concepts. But that's one basic thing we really need to work on, getting a variety of examples for our concepts. We must have examples and we must have a wide variety for each one. I um, hope that helps, and uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, let me know. Hope you have a good day, and thank you for watching.